What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com, and what? What is going on? I think we are on the brink of a DAW war out here on iOS. What is happening? Hope all is well. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news tips, trades. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know all that. Actually, change my music. We're going with the old school iPad beat making news you can use music starting now. All right, so Cubasis has just, 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 just launched a huge, I think it's huge, update. They're talking at Boss Talk on this description. Let's go to the App Store real quick. It says, what's new in Cubasis 3.5? Over the past decade, Cubasis has become established as one of the most complete, popular, and intuitive DAWs for mobile devices. Celebrate its 10th anniversary with us as Cubasis 3.5 continues this success story. Whenever you are ready to create Cubase 3.5, I think they mean Cubasis, 3.5 is there to help when inspiration strikes and make your ideas become reality on your iPad or iPhone. Come on, let's celebrate. Let's get started. Great ideas are like butterflies. They fly freely and could be very hard to catch before they're gone. But if you want to quickly draft a new idea or polish a new track to perfection, Cubasis has you covered. A long press on the Cubasis for iOS app icon opens quick actions, allowing you to immediately launch a new Cubasis project with predefined tracks, immediately ready to capture new ideas or instantly load the most recent project you have been working on. Then there's the all new Cubasis hub, your in-depth control center for choosing to load new or recent projects, or for browsing through templates and existing projects, tutorials, and more. There are many factors which help to make you feel comfortable when creating great tracks. With Cubasis 3.5, there's the assurance that everything works fluently, meaning you can get things done quicker and focus on being creative. We all know how quickly we can get lost while searching for the right sounds for a new track. Cubasis 3.5 for iOS makes life easier by offering full drag and drop support. What? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I full drag and drop support okay while the new metronome sounds let you choose from more than 10 beautiful sound sets helping to instantly get you inspired whenever you are ready to lay tracks down of course you can update your devices to apple's latest ios 16 or ipad os 16 if you wish and cubase's 3.5 will work just as expected oh okay that's what took it so long yeah you probably was waiting for like that ipad os 16.2 update to drop and then once that dropped they went ahead and i think that's probably what happened they probably been waiting for this for a minute fix it in the mix Cubasis is designed to keep you focused on creating great tracks instantly and perfectly. We do not want anything to get in the way of you being creative. Cubasis 3.5 has a range of improvements ensuring maximum ease of use and unmatched stability. Really? Unmatched stability? Okay. Pairing devices like AirPods or other Bluetooth gear to check out your Cubasis mixes is simple and fast. Connect your mouse or trackpad. What? Connect your mouse or trackpad to scroll like on your desktop. I don't know if y'all understand how important this is to me. I've been complaining to developers for the longest about the lack of scroll support with mice and trackpad. I have bothered all the YouTube creators who use Cubasis. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them, the ones I associate with. I have bothered the developers of Cubasis as well as other apps. The devs can tell you I got receipts if y'all don't believe me. For me, I know it don't matter to everybody. I know some people don't use trackpads. I use trackpads and magic keyboard cases. Finally, we have a solution with the scrolling if it works like they say it does. You can disable all effects with one tap when creating stems and there are new setup options which let you customize Cubases exactly to your liking. All of these and more make life simple and intuitive when you are ready to create. For the complete list of improvements, issues, and solutions, please visit us at steinberg.net slash Cubases form. All right, I just hit the update button. I have not even opened this app up yet, so let us open it up right now together for the first time. Check out some of the features. This ain't gonna be an in-depth thorough video. Obviously, the update just came through. I'm seeing it for the first time right now. I just wanna let y'all know the news, but let's go ahead and hit the open button. Actually, see, uh, it's been so long, I don't even got my, my mouse connected. Let me connect my mouse, give me one moment. All right, my trackpad is connected. I wanna make sure that this scroll support really works. I can't believe it. All right, let's hit the open button. 
Ooh, wow, it's a whole new screen. What? Let's go to new. Oh, okay, all right. Let's just go to create. Mm. All right, maybe there's a setting I need to change because I am not seeing the trackpad support just yet. All right, so definitely it's the same on the arrange window. I don't see any support here. Okay, in the menus. All right, so you got trackpad support in the menus for sure, but not in the arrange window. Yeah, with the arrange window, you still gotta click and pull. Dang, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping that the trackpad support would work in the arrange window. Obviously, that's the idea. Might just be my trackpad. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Maybe I need to, uh, let's see. Do something else maybe. Yeah, I don't know, but it does not appear to work. So if you were hoping to be able to scroll like you do on desktop, uh, not, not happening here on this one but you can scroll through the menus, which is a big win. It's a big win, but not the revolution that I was hoping for with uh, the scrolling on the arrange window. It's unfortunate, but still very nice looking update. You can see the scrolling works. It's nice that we at least have it here. Maybe we can get a quick little bump update to fix it right here also. Or maybe I'm not doing something right and I need to change a setting. Maybe that's it. I hope it's that. So let's test out the drag and drop abilities real quick. Let's find something to drag and drop onto this application. And wow, look at that straight from sample crate. Just drop that on. No problem. So that's a audio file. Let's try it with a MIDI file just to be sure that it is complete. Okay, so it does work. It does work. Excuse me. It doesn't work with dot MIDI files, but it works with dot MID files, which is perfectly fine. So you take a dot MID file and just drop it in and you are good to go. And one test I'm gonna run real quick is what about coming out of something like Suggesture? And let's load up a progression here and let's see if it can and I appear to have crashed Cubases. Okay, let's try it again. Open recent and let's open Suggester and that crashes it. So yeah, I guess uh, let's start a new project. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. So let me start a new project and pull the file. Oh, that crashes it again so uh yeah you can bring midi files in that are directly midi files it doesn't look like it'll let you bring in files from like your gesture which is a workflow that i really enjoy on different daws that's unfortunate so couple downsides already to this update for my particular workflow that um other DAW such as MTS and AEM have been able to fulfill but if you are a heavy Cubasis user man no reason to stop using it now this looks like a great update pretty cool um, the trackpad support within the menu system is really nice I just don't understand how uh, we don't have it for the arrange window that's, that's so that's so crazy to me so crazy to me, but yeah, it doesn't appear to work for the arrange window. Let me see what happens if I just add a bunch of tracks. Will it let me scroll up and down? Okay, so you can scroll up and down, which is, that's a big win. I'll, I'll give them that, that's a big win. But the left and right scrolling, we are unable to do. So you can't, you know, go from bar one to bar, you know, 50 with just a, a scroll like you would usually do, but it does scroll up and down. 
So that's a big win. We'll take the one where we could get it. So, but ideally, uh, Steinberg, if you're listening, we would like the scroll support to also go left and right like that. You know what I'm saying? To to bring it all the way over. Like, you know, you might want to start at the beginning of the song and then, you know, uh, shoot to the second verse or third verse or something like that really quick and easy. That's what the scroll support would help. I would argue it's almost more important than the vertical scrolling, but you know, obviously it's different for different people, but yeah, please add scrolling this direction also, but yeah, pretty cool looking update so far. Couple, uh, you know, couple of little downsides with it, but not the biggest deal. Really big upside though, is that Steinberg is listening. The Cubase's team are listening and trying to make it happen. So this is a big, big, big improvement on an already, you know, great app to a lot of people. So I'm not going to keep on belaboring the point about uh, how great and how new it is. Just if you got Cubases, hit the update button, check it out. I think it's on sale right now. So, you know, if you haven't gotten a Cubases, maybe now is an opportunity for you to get into Cubases. I don't want to compare it to any other DAWs or apps right now. I don't feel like that's fair since I haven't really put it through its paces and i also just opened the app you just witnessed me open the app so yeah not gonna do any comparisons i just recommend if it interests you check it out if you own it hit the update button i think it's a improved update i don't see any reason why it wouldn't be they say it's gonna work with ios 16 which is always great news i'm interested too in the uh like the hdmi support with like stage manager i wonder how this factors in all that but yeah with all that said, it's iPadBeatMaking.com. Shout out to Steinberg. Nice update. Glad to know that y'all are active and that y'all are listening. It's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace.